Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 30th, 2022. If you like to support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and let's get to it. So the month of May has been absolutely crazy. It has been falling off a cliff for the last two trading days or three trading days of last week. We saw this market rally roughly 10% to the upside. So Nasdaq has been basically all over the place, but it got significantly oversold. So that is probably the main reason why we are seeing this bounce. Markets can fall forever. And as you saw here from roughly, um, from the beginning of the year all the way uh, towards uh, uh, mid-March, we had a massive drop in the Nasdaq. We then had a really nice rally up towards the 200 moving average, and then yet again, another massive move to the downside. And now it looks like we're going to see another of these uh, bear market rallies. Question is whether or not we will find major resistance here at the 50 moving average or the 200 moving average. I would expect this area here to be an area of a massive resistance. So just underneath the 50 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is becoming bullish in negative territory. Stochastic is also very bullish and so is RSI. And there's a lot of room to the upside. If you look, for example, at some of the lower charts, for example, the four hour chart, you see that we have been rallying. We are fairly overstretched in the four hour chart and uh, we'll most likely run into quite a lot of resistance here at the 200 moving average in the two hour chart. Uh, we're gonna see that we are significantly over uh, bought at this point in the four hour chart as after this rally. So a pullback before going higher uh, wouldn't be strange in in uh, in the Asia session. I wouldn't be surprised if we pull back the Asia session and then when the European session and the US session opens, we continue rallying as this could rally another 10, probably 11 point uh, percent to the upside before uh, pulling back. So nothing has really changed. Market still is in a bear market and you will definitely see these rallies to the upside um, in this bear market. Market just can't uh, fall forever. So if you look at where we may find resistance, we have the 50 moving average right here. We have the 200 moving average also here and rally up towards the 50. That could be a problem for this market. If we break above here, then we could rally to the 200 and then drop to the downside. So 50 moving average should be around give or take 13.2K and 200 moving average roughly at the 14.3, 14.5K. So it may overshoot, but sentiment basically has to change in um, the economy before this basically turns around. There are a lot of things still the market has to price uh, price in. For example, we have no idea how far the, uh, the Fed will go. They have started increasing interest rates, but they have not started basically shorting its balance sheet. So they will start uh, being active uh, seller of bond um, compared to being active buyer of bonds. And that will definitely have a significant effect on the market as they are uh, struggling with, uh, with inflation. But rallies, they do happen also in bear market. And this kind of looks like a, a bear market a rally. Question is whether or not it will be the 50 or 200, or maybe we go higher than here or just fall apart all of a sudden when the US session starts. So let's look at the S&P 500. Also here, uh, very similar to the rally that we saw in, in uh, mid-March, we have broken above the middle of the bullish band. So top of the bullish band is straight here, right at the 50 moving average. And this area here should also offer a significant resistance. We are, there was no selling at the end of the US session on Friday. There's no pullback and therefore we may see this rally, but pullbacks, should be expected before rallying up towards the 50 and that should could offer us resistance um, if we break above the 50 then we have the 200 moving average here so we could also see this market pulled towards the 200 moving average before continuing to the downside still sentiment is not has not changed and uh, we are still in a 
bearish move to the downside. And when bear, when sentiment change, when um, the Federal Reserve basically becomes um, an institution that basically helps the market grow instead of basically breaking it down as it is doing at this point, then uh, things will most likely go back to what we basically have been seeing the last um, 11 to 13 years. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bullish and still in bearish territory. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish and there's a lot of room to the upside. If we break below here, 3,836, then we may see this market drop significantly to the downside. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is far more bullish than, than um, the NASDAQ is and then S&P 500 is. We are approaching the 50 moving average here, 200 moving average just above. So we may see this pull back a bit before going higher and then we could drop or we break above the 50, go to the word 200 and then continue to the downside. If we break above the 200, and then we need to take out these two candlesticks here and this area which has been massive resist, uh, resistant in the past. So doing that, then we may go back towards the all-time highs. But other than that, breaking below this very bullish candlestick here, that will make the Dow Jones drop significantly further to the downside. There are areas roughly here at the 30.5 and then towards uh, 29.9 and then uh, most likely towards the 26.2. So the previous highs also here were before we had the crash uh, in 2020. That should also be an area of major um, support in the, that Jones. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, sarcastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the European market. And yes, um, I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, continue rallying as uh, Europeans or major European powers are struggling basically to find a solution to the war in Ukraine. Uh, they are, in my view, upon view, constantly making the same mistake as basically believing that Russia is their friend and they will uh, and um, and and this continue believing what Putin says and there is basically no point in that um, so news was basically for this weekend that uh, there is uh, going to be a continuation in negotiations but still finding continues and long as that is the case uh, that should be bad for the entire european continent uh, not just the Euro russia's economy but also the european economy so we were in a downward channel you can write it up here. We did break out of this channel uh, last week. Question is how far this will go. So we have a top here that we have to test. And we also have a top here that we have to test. We could make a move towards the 200 moving average, moving this way. That would be roughly at the, at the 15K, 14.9K, uh, give or take. Uh, but if we break below these candlesticks here and also this one then we may see this market drop all the way back towards uh, the lower part of this channel so i am not very bullish on the european economy um, as there are a lot of things that um, are going wrong especially when it comes to energy they are struggling uh, basically to get uh, new energy uh, supplies and and um, and the world economy is also slowing down so Considering that this is the, uh, the DAX and it's heavily affected by um, exports, um, that should not be very good for the DAX overall. So still, this may continue uh, rallying if the, uh, the major industries continue rallying. But if they when they turn around, this could basically drop off a cliff. If you look at the MACD, it's still bullish. Sarcastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the VIX. So yes, we can turn out, but uh, VIX has, um, is basically approaching major support. So 50 moving average is, is here. We have tested it several times uh, recently and basically bounced from it. If we break below the 50 moving average, 
then we have the 200 moving average here and that should offer significant support so we may see this continue to the upside in the long run i think that the vix is kind of pointing to higher volatility higher uncertainty for the world economy and that is definitely not positive for this it may take a few training days probably take a few weeks but uh, seeing this week um, basically dropping back towards levels of 15 and 10 and so on that will most likely not occur as long as sentiment is out, uh, as it is if uh, monetary policy changes again uh, then yes that this basically could turn around and uh, there'll be less um, volatility in the market or less fear in the market but at this current stage, we are basically pulling back due to the fact that we are were significantly overstretched in the VIX. So MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So um, momentum is to the downside at this point, and that should also be bullish for these indices. So let's look at the US 10-year. So this is a very, very strange chart. It went all the way up towards the 3.1 and then got heavily rejected, ended up below the 50 moving average yet again so 50 moving average traveling this way 200 moving traveling this way at the current stage if we drop below these candlesticks here then we could go significantly lower towards the 200 moving average we can also look at the fibonacci retracements for uh, the 10 year we can go all the way down here and we can see that the 50 fibonacci retracement is right there and dropping towards the 50 we can rally dropping low a bit towards the 60 but then we'll hit the 200 moving average and that is probably as far as this it will go um, when we have the 200 plus the 61.8 around the same area if you look at technical news here we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is not bearish the stochastic is bearish as well and the rsi is flat at this current stage a lot of room to the downside and the upside so, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.